the koala hokud rachel bright jim field in a wonderful place at the breaking of dawn where the breezes were soft and the sunshine was warm a place where the creatures ran wild and played free a koala called kevin clung to a tree A nicer gray fellow you never would meet, as soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. He was terribly good at all these three things. Yes, Kevin was king of staying still kings. You see, high up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move nor to change. So he clung to his tree as he knew how to do. and he was never too keen to try anything new so when wombat stopped by and shouted one day hey kevin why don't you come down here and play mm i think i he replied i should stay on my plant i'm busy right now no i'm sorry i can't Why not cry the ruse who liked the idea yes why called the dingoes you have nothing to fear but kevin who wasn't the do things quick sort said i have plenty to do but thanks for the thought as kevin sat watching them chatter and share a part of him wished he could join in down there but he knew he would miss home in the dark and the late the whole thing was risky adventure could wait whatever the invite he would always say no oh dear it seemed kevin just couldn't let go so his life was the same no matter the day the weeks came and went and the months rolled away and kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound tap tap it tap tap the sound went Well, this was a blow. Tap, tapity, tap, tap, tap. Oh no! Unkling, the crowd called that had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you. Just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go. No, I shan't. I won't clung on Kevin. Oh dear, I just. Can't. Vomph! Down came the tree with a cracking and pinching, crash and a wallop. With Kevin still clinging, Kevin he carefully opened one eye and looked up at the love staring down from the sky. Then one claw by one claw he slowly unclung. He felt springy and light and happy and young. The worst he could think of had now come to pass, and he was just fine. Why he felt quite first class. So when Wombat held out a most welcoming paw, Kevin he didn't hold back any more. When Ding Dingo asked, "Now will you come out to play?" the crowd all joined in with, "What do you say?" And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, "Yes, I think that I can." 
and Kevin from then on was always can do because life can be great when you try something new thank you